out on me. No, she hasn't walked out on me. Yes, she has. She hasn't. Yes, she hasn't. Hasn't. Yes, she has. She's late. Donald, brides are always late. Look at it like a tradition. No? Really. Michael, this woman is filming my humiliation. Do you want to get rid of her? Okay. Excuse me, but my friend, a little nervous later. Thanks. She's not ready for marriage. She's ready. She'll be ready in a couple of minutes. That's not what I mean. I know what you mean. Donald, don't make yourself crazy. Don't even talk that way, okay? You look great. It's a great day. Oh, what time is it? Don't worry about it. The church is just around the corner. I know, I know. It's just, uh, I don't know. I feel... I'm not worried about anything. You look gorgeous. Oh, Christina, I can't help it. Here I am. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way to the church to marry this man who, who I don't even know. We've practically been living together for two years. Yeah, but it's just that you really can never tell about a person in the first couple of years, Christina. Carrie, he loves you. Oh, he does. Really? Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't want to marry me. You introduce me to a girl who doesn't want to marry me. You introduce me to a girl like that. All girls are like that. Okay? She does want to marry you. What are you doing? Here? Oh, no, tell me. I call. I call. Keep the phone. I call. Now. Uh, it's me, then. Really, it's just me. I think I'm, so. I'm, I'm not ready for marriage. That's all there is to it. How did you end up setting me up with him in the first place? Nobody set you up. You met him at my... At your wedding. At your wedding. Don't forget it. I said that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I knew it was a mistake ever since you and Christina got divorced. Wait a minute. That sucks. That's got nothing to do with you. All right? It was a sign we met at your wedding. It was not a sign, Donald. It was a big red stop sign. Reverend? Excuse me. Uh, could you just talk some sense to me? Of course. There's no need to worry. Anybody. Marriage is a beautiful sacrament. Not entered into lovely. It has to be a decision freely made by the two of you. And of course, if you have any doubts whatsoever, I do. I don't think that you're doing this song when you want to hear it. I will be very happy to take my word for it. Fifty bucks so she doesn't show up. I rented this tuxedo for nothing. Okay, for that. Just loves weddings. I wonder if little Carrie will still be his pet after this. I'm sure she'll be here, dear. What do you know, Peter? What do you ever know? Here she is. Here she is. Okay, everything's happening. Gave your old uncle a bit of a scare, Carrie. To be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, in sickness and in health, until death do you part. I do. And do you, Carrie, take Donald to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold, to love and to cherish, in sickness and in health, until death do you part. I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> This is not Carrie. Donald, Donald. Stop! Okay, hold it. Oh, no. Donald, Donald, don't leave. Don't leave. Okay, we'll get the bottom of this. And who are you? I'm from Richard's Fantasy. It's a joke. I don't think so, young lady. I just married you. It's a joke, yeah. Yes, it's a joke. You married yes. the wrong girl. Yes, it's a joke, but my whole life is a joke. Do not leave it. I knew it. Excuse me. You forgot your... 
joke? This is the worst day of my life. Oh, God, this is so silly. Come I on, knew she would never marry. Did you leave the church? Hey, excuse me, please. Excuse me. We have a few technical difficulties, but uh, no problem. We're going to have the whole thing over at the uh, with Diamond's office. So if you can make your way there, Lou, can you help that out? And uh, uh, Gerald, keep trying to keep him happy. Stay on hold, Reverend. On hold. We'll send for you as soon as we get Carrie and Donald back together. All right, uh, everybody, you heard Mike. Uh, we'll uh, all line up in uh, single line here in an orderly fashion, and we'll all make our way out. Okay? So everybody, just try to find a line up. Uh, take a while and think of the idea. Where are you going? Going to work. Going to the set. Going what? Going to the set. They need me there. Can't go to the set. Why? Just because our series was canceled, that means I've got nothing to do? Can't go to the set. It's better than killing myself. I think we have to just find Carrie and... That's right. We've got to find Carrie. I've got to find her, and I've got to thank her for saving me a fortune in divorce bill. Oh, come on. Now, look, at, obviously, there's just some little problem here. Well, sir, that was sir, that's just some big mistake. Look, maybe she just, just forgot something. Maybe they didn't put the garter on or something. You know? The garter? Yeah. The garter? Something for or something blue, you know? She sent a stand in. Michael, you have to give me a... There you go. My life is falling apart and you're signing autographs. I think what you want to do is confront her. Tell her how upset you are. Just put it all out to her. Michael, what is this thing with you wanting me to get married? I am married. I just married some floozy from a rent -a bride company. Congratulations. Let's make it to the reception. Come on. What? what? I can't get Donald and Carrie back together again. You know, they spent a fortune on our dirt. I wouldn't concern myself too much with marriage, okay, Daryl? What do you say, girls? Want to get married? Don't get too excited, huh? Yeah. Don't you think it would behoove you to go upstairs and just deal with the woman? Why? Right, she didn't come to our wedding. Why should I go to her room? Oh, she wants to have the little producers with you. She wants oh, to God. marry you. Yeah, right. That's why I'm on the sidewalk in a tuxedo. That's great. Thanks a lot. No, no, it needs to be further back. We already tried it further back. Uh, well, I need it to be further back. Oh, I, I see the difference. Yes, uh, much further back. Well, how about all back right? on the street? Here's the hotel. Here we're at the hotel. Come on. You tricked me. Let's just go. You tricked me. Donald, no, I don't this want to. The scene was in one of your movies. We'd have to do the scene. Correct? Maybe even Will? The bridal party will be along here, Reverend Barnes, there, and Donald... Peter, don't you ever think... Nobody wants hot sushi, dear. Put it up again. Brenda, we need some direction here. Get a director. The couch should be further back. <laughs> Well, it just occurred to me. I hope they're here. Okay, they're here. Just, just give me your best shot for me, okay, Donald? It's fantastic advice from someone who's divorced. Yeah, I got a great divorce. And you're telling me to get married? You can't have a great divorce unless you get married in the first place, can you? Oh, so that's why you get married? No, that's not why you get married. You get married because women love weddings. Oh, yeah. So do you know what you're going to say to her? Yeah, I'm going to ask her what she has to say for herself. Good. What has she got to say for herself? Help! What was that? This hotel. I'm telling you. Help! Is anybody there? Can anybody hear us? Carrie! Is that you? Donald? Well, where are you? We're in the elevator. No, honey. We're in the elevator. Another. Elevator. Shut up, Donald. Let Mike handle this. Another elevator. 
Another elevator. Excuse me, please. What floor? What floor are you on? A 12. Oh. They're coming. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, you want to know what my analyst said? Your analyst? Yeah, my analyst. She, she said that I should try to stay, stay away from, from, from confined places. You want to know why? Why? Because I, I don't know. Really, Christina? Christina, are you in there? Yes. Well, why didn't you just push the alarm? It's not working. No, th these things are equipped with the uh, emergency phone, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. It doesn't work. Uh, is, is Donald there? Of course I'm here, pumpkin head. Honey, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. You're the one stuck in the elevator. Yeah, I, I know, sweetheart. I just, I'm worried about you. I miss you. I, I just, I love you. Isn't it bad luck to see the bride before the wedding? Listen, Donald, I won't tell what you want, okay? Why? Get this door open, I'll get you around. Come on. You can't, it's stuck. Well, well, maybe you can push the button, close it, and then the elevator. It's stuck. What happened to the church? Why are you back here? Well, you know, Donald had to go ahead and get married without Carrie. We thought we at least owed her to oh, Donald. We'll never do anything like that. Mm, you know, no, we heard not oh, purposely. Oh, goodness, I miss you. You're going to make me puke. Look, we'll be right back, okay? Just stay tuned. We'll be back in a second. Remember what that means? Oh, oh, I just want to marry me. Yeah, come on, Donald, let's go. Bye. Donald, let Michael take care of it. Christina, Christina, are you still there? Don't ask stupid questions. Just get us out of here. What, what's going on? You're in the wrong place. I didn't, I didn't move. No sweat, there's a hatch on top. You're not doing anything stupid, are you, Mike? Oh, oh no. Are you doing something dangerous? Well, not yet. I better get help. Oh. Is Donald up there with you? Uh, he went for help. You mean you're rescuing me? I'll tell you what, I'll leave you in there until he gets back. How about that? Oh, no. Come on. Ah! Mike? Michael? Are you all right? Yeah. Fine. There's an elevator stuck on the 12th floor. Well, use one of the other elevators. We'll get someone up to it. There's two women stuck on it. I'll have someone take care of it. And there's a man on the roof. Any luck yet, Cousin Donald? I'm sorry, it's not Cousin Donald yet, is it? What are you doing here? I got bored standing around with your boring friends. It was my idea. I was worried about Cherry. You never worry about me, Uncle Andrew. Is she all right? She's stuck in an elevator. Well, not a bad idea under the circumstances. Here, yeah, forgive my niece, Donald, but she's a bit jealous. She's always thought I like Carrie better than her, which I do. That's only because we're too much alike, Uncle Andrew. Mother always told me that was what made me so difficult. She's quite right, Donald. I mean, tight-fisted, egotistical, dictatorial... I mean, somebody's got to hold the family together. Well, Carrie thinks you're very sweet. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> Carrie doesn't have a sensible bone in her body. <laughs> I hope you've engaged somebody to rescue her from this elevator. Yeah, well, Mike is up there, and I spoke to the concierge, so I'm going to go... Yeah, don't you think you ought to be up there, too? The girl dotes on inane little gestures like that. Go, 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 go! <laughs> I think you'll make her very happy. I think so, too. It doesn't take much to make Carrie happy. That's what I like about it. Hmm. How can you stand being married to Brenda, young man? Is Donald up there? 
Christina, our hands still limp here. Do you think Donald could please rescue me? Mike does all the rescuing. It's in his big contract. Christina, I don't know if I want to get married by somebody who doesn't want to rescue me. All right. Let it go. Let it go. Let's take it easy now. Got it? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Are we okay? Okay. Careful. Everybody okay down there? Well, you know, I don't know if the thing's gonna bounce anymore. We gotta get out of here. Get us out of here. Maintenance, this is Terrence. Get a ladder up to 14 and get a security unit here right away. We've got elevator problems. Oh, you all right? It's a lovely dress. You okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the shoes. My shoes? Yeah. Climb all those stairs. Oh, well, I can't stop him, dear. Peter, you couldn't stop a sink. Come on, what are you waiting for? Taking the stairs, okay? I'd like to be with you all the time. Obviously, I better stick by your side. Well, he wouldn't believe what happened. This elevator here completely. Oh, Mike, I mean, what the hell? All right, okay, we're taking the stairs, everybody. Sir, what are you doing here? No, 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 you can't take it. It's perfectly safe. The elevator hasn't been born yet that would try anything like that on me. Sir, I don't think we better do that. Mike, don't let these people get on here like that. I'm a police officer. We can tell you. Sir, Nobody listens to me. They all get so worked up over the least thing. I don't know. I don't think it'll be so bad, you know. Out in the water. Hi. Okay, everybody. This is going to be fine. We, I think, uh, can maybe have a ceremony in the lobby. In the lobby. Um, and oh, I guess we can get Peter. He can go to Evan Barnes. And, and Lou, you can go over and get everybody from Mike and Christina and bring them here. And, sure, no and it'll be nice. exciting. <laughs> Please, if you would just do us this one little service, I would appreciate it. I think you're very kind. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, I understand that. That would be very nice. Okay, guys, uh, I don't know if this is really the place to uh, finish this off. Maybe you guys should, uh, I don't know, go to Mike and Christina's place. Finish it off, you know. 
I think that's a wonderful idea. I do, too. All right. I just got off the phone with Reverend Barnes. He'll be right over. Get him back on the phone. Tell him, change a plan. Meet us back at the Diamond's office. I'll have the wedding now. If you're going to keep changing it, why don't you just phone him? Look, you can handle it. you got people skills. You can do this. I'll try Hey, listen, I think I should get going, too, you know. I gotta, I gotta take care yeah, of this. Actually, thing. I think I'm gonna hang out with Luke for a while. You're what do you mean you're gonna hang out with Luke? Luke? Look, Carrie and I get okay. stuck in this... Carrie and I get stuck in this elevator, and now what's happening? All right, we're, we're gonna get going now. Come we'll on. meet you there. All right, see you. Sorry. I think there's a connection. Connection? Look, guys, I don't know. It's bizarre. I mean, you guys were talking to this guy, what, two minutes before? Which guy? The guy in the elevator fell down? Yeah, yeah, I talked to him. He was him. talking to All right, to I think that's oh, bizarre that you tell the guy to go check out an elevator and he falls down the shaft. That's bizarre. So you think it's nothing? I don't think there's any connection. Right. Just stop right. playing detective. I suppose we have to expect this sort of thing in the family now. What with Carrie marrying in the show business? <laughs> Shameful the way those people carry on. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Imagine hiring a young girl to go to the church pretending she's a bride. Shocking. Simply shocking. But funny. <laughs> funny? Don't you have a sense of humor, young man? The look on Donald's face, the bridegroom, and the minister. <laughs> You're farce if you ask me. Stroke a genius. <laughs> Sacrilege, that's what it is, sacrilege. Excuse me. Simply shameful the way they act. I suppose we're going to have to put up with this sort of thing in the future now. What with Carrie marrying into show business? <laughs> Imagine hiring a young girl to go to the church pretending she's a bride. It's a sacrilege. Don't you have a sense of you, my young man? Crazy lady. Carrie are back together. They're going to get married, so we just have to wait until Reverend Barnes can get here. So everybody enjoy yourselves. Uh, we're going to have a wedding today, you know? Yeah. I don't believe it. You send a guy up to fix an elevator and he falls down the elevator? I don't buy that. All right. Let me get out of here. All right. Let's check this out. You got me there? Yeah. Somebody holding that? television. I won't watch it. I won't have that thing in my house. Well, I can understand that. A lot of people feel that way. How would you ever watch Dr. Ruth? Oh, no, she's good. But you seem like such an intelligent young lady. Thank I you. should think you find that a rather silly way to make a living. Yeah. I suppose the thought did cross you, my you mind. Don't, you don't think I know what these people are saying? They're saying, what is this schnook oh, doing with such a beautiful God. girl? Oh, they are. I know they are. Girl. Actually, we don't have that show anymore. It's all over, isn't right. it? Oh, what a pity. And you're such a gorgeous hunk. Hey. Oh, look who's here. Oh. Reverend Barnes. Hello. I'm glad you could make it. Thank God yes. you made it. Thank God. Yes. This is a detective agency. Yes. That's right. But why would people get married in a detective agency? Who cares? That I don't suppose is my place to question. Right. So anyway, I'm so glad they caught you before you got away with the hotel. And okay. I am. The important thing is you, you, you are here now. So are we ready for a wedding here or what? We're ready for Michael. Let's get this thing going. Okay. That's the attitude, yes. But I'm not, she is. Uh, uh, I'm right. Yeah, and we are all agreed on that. Yes, yes, yes. Because I was in my study all afternoon praying for guidance. What do you want, an hourly or flat? Can we get on with this thing? Let's go. You see, I did pronounce the man and wife. Uh, excuse me, pronounce who? I, Carrie. No, I think it's a good idea if you and Uncle Andrew start over on the stairs. And I was afraid that uh, after he had married that other young lady. Uh, just a second, what did they say? Nothing, nothing Carrie, nothing at all. Just the girl that Donald married this morning. Excuse me, Donald. What's going on here? It was a kid. It was a kibitz. It was a little kibby. Nothing. It was nothing. Oh, 
understand. Mr. Donald, thank you very much for telling me about all this. Reverend, maybe you could help us with the misunderstanding here. Uh, remember how you said, do you carry? Yeah, do you carry? And, uh, uh, of course, it wasn't carry. It wasn't carry, so... Oh. He wasn't married. That's You're right. going to be married? I'm single. Christina? Great. See? No problem. Let's go. Uh, over here. Oh, careful. Don't step in your dress. There you go. They'll ruin it. Um, right over here. That's good. That's good. Okay? Here comes the bride. Dum, dum, We are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Donald and Carrie. Two young people very much in love with each other. You know, marriage, under the best of circumstances, is not an easy thing. Thank you. And uh, I, uh, I often think when a young couple approach me today, do they really know what they're doing? You've got to stop the wedding for a second. I need to talk to you. It can wait. Sorry. Because I often wonder whether the young people of today take marriage as seriously as the young people of the a generation ago. The elevator, you buddy, didn't fall again. Or two generations ago? There's someone didn't like them, though. You got a hat? Okay. I think that goes without saying. <laughs> or five. But today, I have no such misgivings in my mind. When I see the love in the faces of these two young people. It's obviously got something to do with what happened to Christine. What yes. has it got to do with an elevator? Please. Please. Getting married, come on. Two young people. people. Then I am moved. Yes. Oh, just an elevator happens to Christine Kerr. If you look trying to get married, they got a very rough day. I am moved to reflect in the purity and sanctity of the creator's institution of marriage. The elevator. You got stuck. All of a sudden, a guy does a swan dive. Okay, there you go. Story oh, I never understand a word you're saying. Okay, what you yeah, So if there is anyone here who knows just cause or impediment why these two may not be joined together in holy matrimony. I'm the guy at the bottom of the hole clenching a uh, wad of big bills, okay? I'm just... We are now to declare it or forever hold your peace. Reverend. Am I going to get married? Uncle Andrew? Uncle Andrew, you're going to be just fine. You really are. You don't look so bad at all. Please, mm. leave him alone. Okay. Take more than a couple of sparks to get me. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be just fine, Uncle Andrew. Never let anything stop me. No. So don't let anything stop you. All right, I hope you feel better, Uncle Andrew. <laughs> just get yourself married, son. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bill, stay with him. Excuse me, miss. Would you mind clearing this tray off for us, please? Just get it all off this thing. Don't worry about it. It's unplugged. It's... Thanks. Great. Anyway, the guy was leaning up against this tray. All of a sudden, he got a huge electrical shock and fell over. So check it out. Find something in it, okay? This thing up here. Tom, make sure nobody leaves, please. You know something, Donald? I think we should name our first son Donald Andrew. And he's going to have your beautiful eyes. Mm. And my... Bad luck. Donald, please. Carrie, I love you very much, but I'm beginning to get the message. Well, just a minute. Hold on, Donald. You can't possibly think that I'm to blame for everything that's happened today. For the element... Carrie, if I get a rash when I eat shrimp, God is telling me to stop eating shrimp. Okay. Time for a wedding. Where are you going? No, I can't do this anymore. Carrie, what's... Carrie? What's going on? Carrie? Okay, okay. Granted, a few strange things have happened today. A few strange things have happened. But you don't believe in all like a nightmare. Maybe... Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe you could... You could... You could talk to him or... Or, or, or just say... I know, you can tell him that, that, that I love him. And Harry, he knows you love him. What do you got, Billy? Got anything? Wires. 
sonar F receiver. It's remote controlled. A remote controlled hot dog tray. This is like a bad episode of Batman or something. All right, check around for some sort of a remote control device, okay? Anywhere, look around. Inspector, thank you. We'll take it from here, okay? I'm sorry, Michael. It's just completely tasteless to get married on the worst day of your life. Don't take up your time. Listen, a lot of strange things have happened today here, Donald. Don't start taking things as being an omen. An omen? Yeah, you can't no, take it as an omen. I don't take things as being an omen. Good. It's just that if I go near that girl, a building's going to fall on my head. Jerry, he's, you know, he's a producer. He's high strung. Yeah? He just needs time to calm down. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? I don't want a husband who's calmed down. I, I, I should have thought of that before. Excuse me? I'd like to leave here now. You can't leave now. Are we going to do this? No. Listen, we are Pastor, not. Is that your final decision? Yes, it is. There's no decision you made here. What are you talking okay, about? Are some people are not meant to marry. I think you're one of them. I, I think you're right. There's some you're people right. who are not meant to I agree with you, Reverend. Okay, you would have been married if he hadn't been talking with his friend. Okay? Well, that's what, right. What are you trying to say now, Reverend? You wouldn't be married. Listen to him. He's absolutely right. I'm telling you, don't interrupt me. I don't want you to make a comment on what we're doing around here. Sorry, Luke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to cut you off. I know you guys are having a bad time here. I need everybody to stay in here for a few minutes, okay? Well, that's good. Oh, terrific. Please. Now yeah, we're all we're criminals. We're not criminals. Well, of course. So what do we want to do? Uh, may I have everybody's attention, please, just for a second? I know this is a wedding, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience here, okay? But we want to conduct a uh, random search of everybody here. What? Uh, look, it'll only take a few minutes, so please, if we uh, have your patience and cooperation, we'll be out of here in a few minutes, okay? So please, we've got detectives here. Form a line behind each of my detectives, and we'll get through this quickly, all right? I really don't think I should have to do this. Okay. All right. Excuse me, madam. Would you mind if we check through your bag? Maybe you can just dump it out. Absolutely not. Consider this an invasion of privacy. Man handling ministers looking in ladies' handbags. I'm sorry. We'll only take a second. We'll just have a look at it right over here. Okay? There is nothing in my bag of any interest to you. I'm sure you won't find anything there. Please, we're checking everyone's bag. It'll only take a second. Okay? No! Oh, very well. I'd like to accuse you of sexual harassment. I'm awfully sorry about this. That's your wedding and stuff. I don't know what that is. Of course you don't, no. Harry. It's fine. Don't worry. Who? Christina. She planning to watch a lot of TV on her honeymoon, huh? Will somebody shoot me? Please? Everybody could please move into this room right here. Be much safer for you. Twenty thousand volts. You do. You're bigger than I am. Are you off tomorrow? Okay. That means I'm the cop. You're private eyes. You're having a bad day. I'm sorry. 
but you're the suspect. I need to talk to you in my office for a few minutes by herself, okay? The, the rest of you, go home. The suspect, okay? We have a possible murder here, all right? I can't just take your word. Hey, please, wait, another time. Please, I'm sorry. Let's get this thing over with. You guys want to go home? You got to get your tux back. Just let me do my job. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I know I'm coming off pretty heavy in this thing, but I, we just have to do this, okay? He's giving it a third degree! He's giving it a third degree! I know! You're losing it. You're losing it, okay? I never should have invited a cop to my wedding. I agree. Donald, really, don't worry about it. We just have to check things out. Did you have um, any words with your uncle today, you know? What do you mean? Well, you know, sometimes you'll have an argument with somebody and you'll get uptight and you'll say something you regret, like, uh, I'll kill you. Well, obviously, Terry would not try to kill Uncle Andrew. I don't really think we have anything to quarrel about. Well, <laughs> I mean, you are his heir, are you not? I really don't know about these kind of things. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, do you think we could possibly call the hospital to see how my uncle is doing? I want to eat this all up, Mr. Forbin. And the nurse says it will help you get back your strength. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Forbin has not allowed any visitors. Oh, Caroline. 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 What did you have to use to break into this fortress? I'm glad you by the three C's. Connections, charm, cash. I hope you didn't spend too much. Oh, he's my kind of guy. I thought you might like that. <laughs> so what do you think, Uncle Andrew? Are you up to a little chat? Uh, Carolyn, if you'd excuse us. Mr. Forbin, I don't think... I am all right, Carolyn. You go see if you can scare me up some real food. Send out to that little Indian restaurant in London that I love so much. Tandoori chicken takeaway? Put we'll it on for some, will you? Dr. Partridge, to McCurdy. Dr. Partridge, to... She's an angel. And don't tell me you've been playing detective when you found out who tried to light me up. Well, we're getting there. What we did find out was that the cocktail weenie tray there was rigged and was activated by like a garage door opener or something, and they found it on Kelly. Carrie. Carrie. Oh, Carrie? She's down at the station house now. With her husband, I hope. We're working on that. The only thing that can save her from having a number across her wedding pictures is if we can figure out who might want you dead. Lots of people, I imagine. I've worked very hard at being disliked. Not very good at it, Uncle Andrew. Watch your tongue, young lady. And we have to ask you this, and it's a personal question. What's in the wheel, sir? A very logical question. It's really very simple. If Carrie is married at the time of my death, she inherits the bulk of my estate. Well, then it couldn't be Carrie. Of course it couldn't be Carrie. Oh, this shock. If it, if it killed him, she wouldn't have... Well... She wouldn't have gotten very much. So who would have stand at the benefit then, should they have managed to knock you off like this? I have only one other niece, Brenda. Hmm, sounds like a motive to me. Of course. Stops the wedding, tries to get rid of him. Good deducing. One floor. Brenda doesn't know what's in the will. There's no motive if she doesn't know it. Nobody knows what's in your will? When you write that kind of will, young lady, you don't let anybody see it. Especially when you have Mesa like Brenda. <laughs> Give me an upset stomach. There was no wedding. I want a glass of milk, Peter. I don't want an argument. All right, we'll run your bath and then we'll see. I want a glass of milk first, and you can run my bath when I'm finished. Any messages, air, please? And if you don't get me too upset, maybe we can play house later, all right? I have an urgent message for you. Thank you very Donald. much, dear. Is it Uncle Andrew? Oh my God, we have to get to the hospital. Is he almost? Get the car. Dr. Ellis. 
X-ray. Oh, are we too late? We don't think it's great. <laughs> Please hurry. Please don't leave us, Uncle Andrew. I don't know what we do with that again. Retired to Tahiti, maybe. <laughs> Actually, the south of France is more your style. Pretentious. <laughs> one niece in jail. And one to make sure I've really gone. It takes all the fun out of dying. Doctor. Excuse me, but Uncle Andrew was my uncle. Would you mind? Would you mind? Excuse us. Thank you. We know you killed him. We got you. How dramatic. And entertaining. I don't know why the two of you ever got out of show business. Well, we're having a lot more fun putting real people like you in real jail. For two murders. Oh, two now. Geez, I can't guess. Who else did I kill? The concierge at the hotel. Well, the service there is deplorable, but killing him, don't you think that's a little ruthless, even for me? You paid him to rig that elevator so that Carrie would not show up at her wedding. Plus, you knew that Donald was so insecure that if he thought he was having games play with him, he would never show. You knew that. So what happened? Did the concierge want more money from you? Maybe you wanted to tell Uncle Andrew on you, something like that? Oh. Well, you're both very amusing. But this is a very bad time for one of your TV scripts. You haven't got to the good part, Brenda, about the motive, about the cash. Bear with us. Well, if you're suggesting that Uncle Andrew left me a little something, I'm sure he did. A million little somethings. Come on, you knew all about his will. You knew that if Carrie got married after he died, that you would get everything. You knew that. I have funeral preparations to tend to. Get out. You know, Carrie's downtown right now in a joint. And we're going to go down there, and we're going to get her Bye. out of there. Bye. If, if we... Bye. Shut up. Carrie's out. I get it all because she was single when he died? It's nice, isn't it? I didn't know that. But I bet you did, didn't you, Peter? I never knew you had so much backbone. Enough backbone that I demand to be treated with a modicum of respect. Yes, of course, Peter. Anything you want. Oh, that's very smart of you. Now go down and get the car and I'll be down in a minute. Does she know anything? <clears throat> not everything. Not about us. You didn't tell her that I showed you Uncle Andrew's will, did you? Don't worry about her. She'll be meek as a lamb for the next couple of months. And then as soon as the will is probated and the check is in the account, I'll take care of her. Six years with Brenda. God, I earned every cent of that money. 
Put your hands on the bottom, you stupid fool. She'll go anywhere with you. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. This is vastly unfair. Somebody call a taxi? You? Here. <laughs> At least Brenda didn't get the money. Some satisfaction in that. Why do they always have to have an exit line, huh? I wonder. here today to see if there is any chance at all we can unite this man and this woman in the middle Don't of... Don't you people have any idea what time visiting hours end? Out! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Out! Oh, I'm sorry. Out! Oh, 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 Maybe we can... Oh, come on! Out! No, no, no. no, 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 no you can't go. What's that? 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 Dr. Ellen, X-ray. 